patio and it's really hot. And I thought, well, why don't I just sit on the patio in in place and spin? So I picked the weeds from one area, then I would turn a little and pick them from another area. So like a little sun on my patio by this big body of water in Tampa, I spun around and nested and took care of my area and held fast. And that is the topic for today, holding fast. And welcome to House of Nay. I'm Nay, by the way. It's it's I, it, it's part of me now. I go up to people and we start talking and I sh- stick my hand out and I say, I'm Nay, by the way. And I plan on doing that this weekend. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday. I'll be, I'll be honest. I'm not sure if I'll make it to Felix to House Cat tonight. I've got three mixes that are dying to be birthed. So I have to take care of that. And I've learned also to not chase nostalgia. And you have to set boundaries and and think, what can I handle? And would going to see Felix be good for the future? Or is it just just chasing the past? I don't know yet. I'll probably decide at seven o'clock tonight. So but this is my head. This is House of Nay. This is me. Uh, house music saved my life, and now I try to create that space for others. And it all came about because of a memoir I wrote called Hag. And I was at the Moonbeam Market last week at Johnny's Cava shop in Clearwater. I will be at a karaoke bar on Tuesday. Uh, Fierce Bitch Events uh, is putting on another market with a uh, Muna, uh, Muna. Yeah, her, your, her name is Muna. <laughs> Luna Jade of Moonbeam Markets. Hello, Luna. I got your name wrong. I will be there as well. I have these, you know, hanging on copies of Hag that I'm selling for $10. But for $20, I'll give you a shout out on the podcast. And I would love to meet you. Uh, I'm looking to find a venue for podcast meetups. But what I'm quickly learning is venues are hard to come by. So I'm pivoting to become more mobile. I'm holding fast to that idea. You know, because here's the thing. Uh, I, I don't want a lily pad, but with this podcast, I do tend to create connections between life on the dance floor and your real life. Although I've learned that my life on the dance floor is my real life. Uh, I used to run from it. I used to think, oh, that's my bad life. That's me hiding. That's my addiction. Uh, I live a sober life now, and I find that I still love it on the dance floor, and that's why I'm a DJ, and I want to create that vibe for other people. And so I don't know if I'm going to Felix, because I want to I want to head to the future. Tomorrow night, there's a bunch of guys at PTL from Serious Soul, from Late Night Flights, coming together. Coming together, guys. And they're going to spin, and all my favorites are going to be there. Brian Busto and Lyndon and Jason and Alan P. Hello, Alan P. Uh, All of them will be there creating nasty beats for your ears. I absolutely won't miss that. I'm going. I'm going to wear a black and white, beautiful, cute little House of Amazon dress. And I just became a brand ambassador for Glory Days. It's a vintage store in Los Angeles. So I will be bedecked in vintage Lucite. And I just had this vision of me on a red carpet, honey. (laughs) I tend to arrive early. So you might miss me on the red carpet unless you get there at 1030. I like I like getting there at 1030 and leaving. But when when things start to get messy, I tend to duck out with an Irish goodbye. You know, I just kind of do a little wave and a kiss kiss and I duck out the door. And I, I read a room. I hold fast to that idea. And you know, it has always served me well. And let me not lily pad too much because the reason I'm podcasting today and not putting up a mix is I've been thinking a lot. I know you haven't heard from me in a long time. I, I took a few weeks to think about some things. And I had an experience in a club. I'm going to write about it. So I don't want to go into into it too much here. 
but I was at the bar and this you know, beautiful young thing came up with his girl and his friend, his wingman. And he was like, hey, and he tried to push me out of the way. He was probably 22 if he was a day. And I just looked at him dead in the eye and went, hey, and held fast and claimed my space. The old me would have moved. Oh, yes, here, here, have some room. I didn't do that this time. And it upset him. The The bar was completely empty but he had to prove a point to his girl. Then he tried to buy me a drink. I swear, guys, after that experience, I, I sat and I was like, you know what? This holding fast thing is, is feels very powerful. Let me try it again. And it made me think, you don't need me sitting here dumping a lot of advice in your ears. I, I kind of hate Instagram now for that reason, because every time I scroll at some other person telling me what I should do with my life. My dad used to do that. And then he got onto the, the topic of, oh, nobody's listening. Why do I even bother? And I think that's where I am now. I want this podcast to be something that you look forward to. So here's what's going to happen. I have advice. I always do. So, but, but I'm, I'm also kind of a comedian. So I think I'm going to just, you know, do my little tidbits video every so often when they come up when I feel like it. And they happen at very weird times of day. I just had one happen while I was pulling weeds. So look for that in your Instagram stories. But nobody needs more advice. So what I'm going to do with this podcast is every so often I'll check in with you, let you know what's going on. I'll keep it to 20 minutes. And once a month, when I can work up to it, you know, it's going to be a lot of planning, a lot of planning for this next thing. Maybe sit down for this next thing. I want to create a salon like Vincent Price had, like Gertrude Stein had, like Diana Vreeland had, where they would have people over and they would just sit and talk shop and eat and, and enjoy. And maybe I live broadcast that. And maybe I include you on that. Maybe I just record it and edit it and post it. I don't know. But Luis Martinez of Blur in Dunedin and Shelter – in their new uh, location, wherever that may, may be, all happening August 22nd, 2022. Mark your calendars. He's agreed to be my first guest. So he and his wife, Kari, are going, or is it Carrie? No, it's Carrie. It's just spelled like Kari. He and his wife, Carrie, are going to come over and we're going to have food because he used to be a chef. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I'm going to cook for him and we're going to sit on our patio and talk about music. We are going to have a whale of a time, and I can't wait to share it with you. So I'm going to make this podcast a little more loosey-goosey, not maybe stick to a strict schedule, except for mixes. Here's the best part. Mixes every Friday. Funky Friday, baby. Sexy, funky Friday. And that includes today. I will have a mix up today. I will. It'll be juicy. It'll be sexy. It'll be happy. Piano thumping house music with divas. I tend to prefer male divas, so look for that. I love a good baritone in my house. So um, mm, that's that's on several levels right there. I love a good baritone in my house. <laughs> Ooh, girl, I like that one. Let remind me to use that on a flyer, please. <laughs> With the big eggplant emoji. Oh my God, let me stop. But anyway, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a party salon. I don't know what it's gonna be. My neighbors might hate me. Maybe I'll invite them. But wouldn't that be cool? I don't know whether we can spin or not, but I'm gonna try. If I have to soundproof my office, I will. I'll throw up some fucking foam. I'm a podcaster. I know how to do that. So that's what's happening with the podcast. I'm tired of whining to you about me. I'm tired of trying to teach you what to do. People tune it out. And I know that. I knew that from the beginning. And I tried to spoon it with sugar. I tried to make it cute. I tried to be cute with titties and videos and say maybe they'll take it down this away. No engagement. So I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm giving up on this. I'm going to pivot and make it a little more crazy. So we're going to make it a little more nae and a little less what trends on Instagram dictate you should do right now which feels good. So we're up on 10 minutes. 
I've got 10 minutes to talk. Let's talk about some of the things coming up. Let's pivot it and make it part of Tampa, because here's the thing. I want this podcast to be about Tampa. Not, It's about the House of Nay, because I have a lot of ideas. You know what? All right. Let's go small to big, because I used to teach writing, and this is a podcast about the future. So I want to make clothes with the prints that I create. I want to sell prints. I want to have mobile events with a DJ, maybe a food truck, whoever else wants to come, a circus, a carnival. I don't care what you call it. I'm going to show you how to do this. I want to bring class to Tampa. And I don't want to talk too much about it because I've learned that talking doesn't do anything. As a white lady in her 50s, walking around, going, I'm going to de- be a DJ. I'm a DJ. I'm a new DJ. Hire me, hire me, hire me. It's it's bullshit, right? It's going to take me five years to get my feet under me and another five to make a name for myself. And you know what? I don't care because I'm going to have so much fun doing this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not, I'm in it to win it, but not You know, and this is a lot of the blowback I get. And I'm like, wow, great. I'm on the right path because you're worried. I'm glad you're worried. This is so great. So I'm going to have so much fun dreaming these ideas, failing and trying other ideas like I see my friends doing here in Tampa. I've heard about some of the stories about past efforts from Lewis. Uh, I'm sure he will tell them on the podcast and my buddies some whom I haven't even shook a hand with yet, Uh, Jason, Lyndon, Curtis, uh, JB, uh, uh, who am I forgetting? Uh, Alan, uh, uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting, uh, uh, Alex. Late night flights, they're killing it. Do you know who's coming next Wednesday? After party next Wednesday at PTL. Wu Tang Clan, baby. This club just opened in July and they already got Wu Tang Clan. They got Felix to House Cat tonight. They got oh my god, some other fucking big name next Saturday. You know I share them. I share them all over Instagram. So just keep checking my Instagram. These guys are taking off like an airplane, and it's because the vibe in the club is nice and classy. It's it's elevated. It's elevated. I was explaining to a friend last night. It's in a messy part of Ebor, but it's not messy. It's next to a messy club that we won't mention that I went to once. And I was like, Ooh, this reminds me of the vault back in the day. I'm going to (laughs) go and I skedaddled next door. No judgment. No judgment. I won't even name it because, honey, you do you. There's room for messy in this world, too. And I've been messy many a time, but I'm a little more elevated now. I wear vintage Lucite. Uh, which is very bespoke because there's no more of it to make, honey. What's, what is out there is out there. So it's all antique. It's all bespoke. It's all delicious and juicy and big and fat. And I wear it all around my neck and ears at the classy PTL club. I like what they're doing. I like the VIP because it gives you a giraffe's eye view of my future. Did you see what I just did there? I understand it's going to be a hard road full of rocks, but I also, I, I, I dream very big. I really do. I didn't used to, but I've learned that when you try and manifest a house in Florida and a new future, sometimes you can make that happen because I did that. Let's pivot to Tampa. I'm so glad I picked Tampa to do it. It's almost like the house gods were telling me to come here. The scene is so great because it's about the tunes. Now, there's two or three guys here, you know, throwing money around. But most of the folks I've met, you can see it in their eyes. They're really digging and failing and going through all this bullshit because in the end, it's the beat. They got to have that beat. There's four or five clubs tonight you could go to. Even Monday night, I know Cyber Mousy is having some trouble, but he's trying to do a Monday night in St. Pete. I mean, oh my God, are you kidding me? Have you been to Edge Eatery? Uh, Anthony Keys out at Pier Tiki? Uh, who else? Who else? Who am I forgetting? Oh my God, uh, uh, Dirty Laundry. I've heard some good DJs there. St. Pete, 
and Tampa are in Clearwater, Dunetta and Largo, they're killing it. They're killing it. I'm enjoying this new market scene that I'm looking at. It's a little more hippie vibe. There's kava, there's kratom. Let me take a sip of water as I talk about beverages. But it's cute. You know, it's a little more chill. It's not, not oonts oonts, but we've got a deck there. I heard my mix on their deck last Saturday. It was the very first time one of my mixes was ever played in public. And wow. <laughs> I had to sit down on the curb. It was so cool. I just did this really rock hard tech mix. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere, but it was really cool to hear it come out of speakers with people standing around. I had a moment like that in my twenties with one dove. Do you remember that band? They put out one perfect album and disappeared Oh, I had a moment like that at a party with one dove, and it it felt like time is a flat circle. And I'm going to end on that, because this is about nostalgia and the future and the past and how it all comes together. And honey, it all comes around again. I was just listening to David Silby, Silvian. Yeah, that's his name. I was listening to David Silvian of the band Japan uh, from the punk 80s, new wave. He, they started punk, they ended up new romantic, and then he went very experimental synthesizer. I don't know what you call his music. It's very ambient. It's beautiful. But his song Wanderlust talks about that, how you are in the in-between, between the no longer and the not yet on the verge of some brighter thing. I feel like that. I really do. And I wish that for you. And I can't wait to talk to you next time with Luis Martinez. Or maybe I check in before then. I don't know. We're talking about October. So it's going to happen in October because mama needs a minute. But let me make this pretty because <laughs> I was on a roll right there, right? So I feel on the verge of some brighter thing. And I, I wish that for you as well. And I'll see you next time, which will be a mix tonight. Houseofnay.com. Put the dashes in between for best results. Take care. House of Nay on Instagram as well and at Nay Whitman. Remember to allow. That's where the magic happens. Cheers. Mm-hmm.